Hey, welcome back. This is Vicki with Brick After Brick Toys. And I think you can hear that I have a cold. It's that time of year, but it's also almost Christmas. So remember a couple weeks ago when I opened that package and this awesome carousel was my free gift from Lego? I was so excited for that. But here is what's inside. This had 250 pieces. Isn't that awesome? I couldn't believe how many pieces, but look how cute it is. And there's the working mechanism inside. So it really only has a couple of specialty pieces. And if you're lucky enough that you have those specialty pieces, you can make a carousel of any kind you want. So I thought I would show you how we made this. And there's the twisty turny thing. So let's get started because first we've got to have Lego rain, right? Awesome! Look at all those great Christmas colors. This is going to be beautiful. Okay, so here's what it looks inside. And it really is just a simple plate that you build up around the edges. And then you add these specialty gear pieces in. So if you have any Technic or any gear pieces in your collection, you could probably make this work. Right, so there's the base. And... Here are the specialty gear pieces. Honestly, you really just need that that one, um, I'm not sure what that black piece is called, but that's kind of an important piece. And the spacer, the gray spacer, that's important too, just to keep it so that it um, has enough space and so it's turning at the right place. So, and a lot of you have these pieces already, so you could probably build a pretty cool carousel of your own. Just because LEGO is only offering this as an add-on if you purchase like $100 or something and they are giving this set away this Christmas but you won't find it afterwards so um, but you could build one and look how easy it is so here's the base and there are the gear pieces and look they just use like a simple window shield piece in the front so that you can see how it works which I thought was cool and then of course one of these plate pieces that has a hole in it so that you can put the second black piece in and when you put it right next to the other piece it turns and so the whole little carousel is going to turn that's the working mechanism and then it's just simple simple plates put on top after that awesome a lot of you have some of these pieces already and look it's one of those um, donut hole pieces and you make a little sandwich and you stick it on there, and that's the platform. And then it's just a matter of building up the base again. And adding in some decorative elements. Make things look pretty and Christmassy. But leave us a comment if you think you have the pieces that you could actually build something like this. It'd be cool. But if not, what is your favorite Christmas set of all time from LEGO? I know you can probably see in the background, you can see some of my Lego Christmas sets, and I am going to do more Christmas videos um, coming up next week. <clears throat> okay, and here is the platform that goes on top of the donut platform, and I'm putting the twisty turning on because I'm sick of trying to do it. <laughs> it works much better this way. All right, here are just a couple of specialty pieces. If you don't have gold, you could use, you know, white or black or whatever you've got. And this is a cute decorative feature. It's not necessary. You'd have to have some sort of column. If you don't have the decorative pieces, you could always just do columns. All right, this is looking really cute. And look at that, it turns great, awesome. And here is this tiny Christmas tree, which really gives it that festive Christmas time feeling, awesome. Okay, here's the cute little trains. These are so tiny. All right, there they are, round and round. Cute little carousel. And I love the top of this. It sort of has a pagoda feel. And you can see the decorative elements there. And again, the donut piece. And you can see the indents that are gonna actually line up with the columns. But isn't the top pretty? I think that's really neat. Awesome. 
Okay, and gotta put a little bit of holly around. I mean, you, if it's not a Christmas carousel, you don't even have to do that. All right, this is coming together great. And you just put the top on, and there it is. It's super simple. It really is not a complicated build. I hope you had fun watching this video, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you're going to be building for Christmas. It'd be so fun. Thanks for showing some Lego love by stopping by. And if you noticed, I'm getting close to 1,000 subscribers, so there's going to be a contest coming up soon. Stay tuned. And Merry Brickmas!